What could have been thousands of pounds of trash is tonight being treasured by more than a thousand people in St. Paul. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield explains how. Amidst the dreariest of days, the dreariest of times, we learned a, lot today. a bright moment arose uh, keep feeding our city. inside this St. Paul restaurant. Great, hey, wonderful. I got nothing else if I can't feed people. Justin Sutherland owns Public Kitchen. He's closed for COVID 19, but decided to open for his customers, giving away all of the food he will no longer be able to serve. Produce and these perishables that we can't freeze, you know, I, I couldn't, my heart would not let me throw it in the trash. Soon his supply multiplied. A lot of the restaurants and restaurateurs in town heard what we were trying to do and trucked over food. Uh, Levy and the Minnesota Timberwolves and the Target Center brought a bunch of food. JD Fratsky came up from Falls Landing. David FEMA came over. What else doesn't a chef do besides cook. So if you can cook, you help people. Around 1,500 people lined up, filling as many bags of food as they wanted, restoring cupboards, restoring faith. We're still good people that we still want to share things. Amidst the toughest of times, the restaurant business is taking the hardest of hits. Thank you guys. These chefs are taking their temporary lack of pay and paying it for. All we know how to do is feed people, so I had to try and do my part. This day's supply is dwindling. They're going to be back at it tomorrow. They're getting another huge shipment of food. It will be free at noon here at the Public Kitchen in St. Paul. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO 4 News. Uh, Justin Sutherland also opened his farewell food truck today and served 1,700 hot meals. The truck and the free market are all open again tomorrow at noon.